This is 29-year-old Sarah. She fell in love with 57-year-old Mason. The thing I love most about Mason is how cute he is and nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> we actually met each other when I added him on Facebook. He said, I live in New York City. If you're ever in the area, just let me know. And that is how we met. Now, this unlikely couple have even moved in with each other and relocated south to start a new life in the Florida sunshine. Mason did all of the designing. I had no say in it whatsoever, but if I would change it, I would make it more girly, I would hang up sparkly lights. However, there might be trouble brewing in paradise. I think it's stupid to assume that I'm with him because of his money because he doesn't really have a lot of it. <laughs> Well, I still have more money than you do. It's not like we are, you know, rolling in a Rolls Royce. Hey, babe. You need any help? Um, I think I'm all set right now. Hi, I'm Mason Reese, and I'm 57 years old. I'm Sarah Rusi, and I'm 29 years old. We actually met each other when I added him on Facebook. I think somebody wrote a mean comment to him when he wrote underneath one of my statuses. And I responded to the guy and I stood up for Mason. And then Mason messaged me privately on Facebook. That's when we started talking. He said, I live in New York City. If you're ever in the area, just let me know. That is how we met. Mason and Sarah have been dating on and off for the past three years and have recently decided to move in with each other and relocate from New York to the Sunshine State. I moved to Florida because New York City had, for 55 years of my life, been my home base, but became very stressful for me. And like a good son, I had promised my mom that I would not leave New York until she passed away. And in July of 20, she passed away. So I packed up and I left. I'm starting to really love Florida. At first, I was kind of disappointed that he was moving from New York City. He doesn't like how disorganized and messy I can be. I think he's a little bit um, over the top with cleanliness. <laughs> Just a little bit. Yeah. And I don't like the AC. I have an issue with how cold he likes the room. Well, maybe because we're right under the blower, maybe, but but the, the apartment being 74 is not that cold. Right, but it just feels cold. Yeah, well, she's a woman who dresses, you know, modestly, and I'm a guy, so, yeah. So this is basically the kind of sitting area, living room area. I wanted it to be manly, but not, like, overbearing. I do have a couple of manly toys over here. You're gonna see my scooters, by the way. Mason did all of the designing. I had no say in it whatsoever, but if I would change it, I would make it more girly. I would hang up sparkly lights, um, add pink stuff to it, you know, all pink furniture. Personally, I would be open to absolutely no changes whatsoever. I do not want pink, sparkly, girly things in my house. So this is the bedroom where all the quote-unquote magic happens, as they call it. Um, again, I just wanted it to be masculine but cozy and warm. When I need to do my OnlyFans content, I just kick them out of here and I'll go live. I was pretty upfront with Mason about what I was doing when I first met him. I told him that I do OnlyFans for a living. I told him I'm a cam girl. I think he was more comfortable in the beginning than he is now because now I think he knows a little bit more details and sometimes I'll tell him certain details about what I did on OnlyFans and that kind of bothers him a little bit. Hey, so do you want to go for a stroll today? Sure, where do you want to go? I don't know, I was thinking we could just stroll around and go to the park, maybe grab coffee? Sure, absolutely. Usually I ride in the back of his scooter, so we're just gonna ride around and enjoy the nice weather. I think people do act surprised when they find out we're a couple. 
primarily because of the fact that we do have such an age difference and, and obviously we look different. The age gap doesn't bother me at all. I think that we know each other so well that it's not really an obstacle anymore. No, the age gap absolutely presents no issue at this point. I mean, other than like music. She loves rap and hip hop. I like classic rock and soul and blues, whatever. And I like old classic game shows and she likes watching Dr. Phil. <laughs> <laughs> the reaction we get when we're out in public, when we're on the scooter, a lot of people stare at us, people honk at us, and sometimes people will make comments at us. I would say the worst comments that we've gotten, I mean, again, a lot of them focus on her being a gold digger or, you know, what the hell is she doing with that little old wrinkly, ugly dude? You know, he must have a lot of money or else he could never get a girl like her. I think it's stupid to assume that I'm with him because of his money because he doesn't really have a lot of it. <laughs> well, it's not that I'll have a lot of it, I'm not making any. I mean, I'm not making it. He's, he's comfortable. I still have more money than you do. It's not like we are, you know, rolling in a Rolls Royce or we live in a mansion. We've had a lot of people in public recognize us. When they talk to us, they're like, oh my God, I love you. You guys are great. And I'm so happy for you. know, They're a lot more gregarious in person than they are on a keyboard. I'm so glad that we made it this far and hopefully we have a lot more years to come. I think the thing that I'm happiest about and most proud of is probably the fact that we've made it three and a half years. I think that's a major accomplishment. To me, living in Florida, enjoying the warmth and the sunshine, which we have pretty much 300 days a year, swimming in a pool, and getting to wake up to her every day. I mean, that's pretty much about it. After that, I don't expect much. We have two trans kids. Anyone can be whoever they want. I'm just owning it. Our family is seen to be very unconventional. So I had kids and I can't be hot anymore. Like, moms are hot too. People say I look like a thug, but I love thugs. I take that as a compliment. I'm bored of people thinking that I cannot be intimate. I'm a young, single, hot piece of disabled booty. I feel like I'm going to look at myself and be like, who is that? Life is way too short to be hiding. It is my story. It is my truth.